Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got issue number 24 and we're going to be finishing off the Cecily Parsley applique square. It's a bit disappointing that this edition doesn't come with a patch or the fabrics to make a patch. It just comes with these three skeins of embroidery thread. But as you know, I don't use these threads. I've been stitching around most of my character squares with the sewing machine. So today I'm going to be stitching around Cecily Parsley and finishing her off using the machine. I'm going to be stitching around Cecily Parsley using a running stitch with the machine. I'm going to be using the white cotton and I'm going to start with her wheelbarrow. I did have an issue with the bonder web not sticking when ironing so I'm going to be stitching there first. But before I start stitching I'm going to be testing out which stitch looks the best on my scrap of fabric. I'm going to be trying the stitch at number three which is a larger stitch and a stitch at number two and working out what would look good on Cecily Parsley. And stitch size 3.5 is looking good. I'm going to start stitching the wheelbarrow and work my way around her body. So this is what Cecily Parsley looks like so far. I've stitched around her body in the white and a running stitch and I've stitched around the wheelbarrow in the white onto the green which pops. I'm now going to be stitching around the bushes and the path. pieces have been stitched around, I'm now going to pack the machine away and add some details in. The first details that I'm going to add are some little daisies amongst the bushes. I think it will link up the bushes together and link in the pink with the green. All of the daisies are in their final position. I'm going to be using a bit of the So Quick fabric glue to hold them in their position and stitch them in place later. So the daisies are down and I think she's looking good. It's time to use the fabric markers and add in her details. As well as the fabric markers, I've also used my Tulip Slick fabric paint to add in her white fur markings on her face and a few accents on the bushes. I'm going to be using the dryer now to dry off the fabric paint. The fabric paint is dry enough and I'm going to be adding in her whiskers and her nose. And Cecily Parsley is finished. Now for a final press. Mm -hmm. 
So here we have the final Cecily Parsley applique square with all of the changes which I had done. I added the path, the bushes, the daisy, the barrow of flowers and I changed her fabric of her dress. I'm really happy with her. I think she turned out great. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you next time with issue 25 where we make the Whirligig Square. See you next time. Bye.